Kamat. I am Berenice, your certified yoga teacher, and I am delighted to share with you a gentle yoga flow for acceptance by opening our heart while remaining grounded. Why acceptance? Just to help you welcome whatever is arising, your emotions, your feelings, your sensations, a circumstance, welcoming it with acceptance and kindness. Are you ready? So maybe you will need a block, otherwise we can try without it. So we're going to start into standing at the front of the mat, just mountain pose, simple standing pose. So having your feet hip distance apart, parallel, and bringing your sacrum down, engaging your Abdomen slightly, rolling your shoulders up and down, opening your chest, palms facing the front of the mat and tucking your chin in. And taking one deep breath here, feeling how it feels to be in your body, feeling how it feels to be you right here, right now. Gentle inhale through the nose. Even more gentle exhale through the nose. With your next inhalation, raising the arms up, looking up, stretching your spine. And with your next exhalation, bending the knees and folding forward. Inhale, halfway up, your trunk parallel to the ground, looking down. Exhale, bending the knees and back to forward fold. With an inhale, sitting on an invisible chair for chair pose and staying for one breath. Exhale, grounding your legs, engaging your lower body. Inhale, opening your chest. Exhale, pushing on your feet and coming up again, arms up. Exhale, circling the arms down. Palms together in front of your chest. One more time, inhaling, raising the arms up, stretching your spine, opening up. Exhaling, bending the knees, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up, trunk parallel to the crown. Exhale, bending the knees and bending forward. Inhale, getting ready for chair pose and we're going to hold here. So just checking your alignment, making sure that your knees don't go over your toes, checking your spine. It should be in one nice line. So avoiding the over curving of your spine, your tailbone. So maybe playing around with your pelvis. And then several solutions here. So either having your arms up, relaxing the shoulders away from your ears, or hugging your shoulders. And taking a couple of deep breaths and just feeling how it feels to be in your body. And chair pose is slightly challenging, so maybe there's frustration, maybe you feel angry, and just trying to welcome and accept whatever arises with kindness and gentleness. With your next exhale, slowly coming into forward fold, so keeping your knees bent and planting your hands on the ground and resting your abdomen on your thigh. And taking one restorative breath here, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the nose or the mouth. Slowly moving on to all fours for your cat and cow. So making sure that your hands are under your shoulders and your knees under your hips. And with your next inhale, bringing your hips up, shoulder blades together, opening your chest, looking up, arching your back. Next exhale, rounding your back, spine to the sky, navel in. And doing this several times, inhaling, opening the chest. Exhaling, rounding your back. So cat and cow is great to stretch your spine, to remove stuck energy, blockages and to stimulate fresh new energy. So with a lot of kindness and gentleness, and if anything is arising here, just observing, being the witness and accepting with kindness and gentleness for yourself. So last one, inhaling, arching your back, exhaling, rounding your back, spine to the sky to the maximum. Inhale, coming back to all fours. Moving on to low lunge, so placing your right foot between your two palms. Inhaling, raising your arms, bringing your spine nice and straight, sliding your sacrum down, opening your chest, engaging your core, making sure that your knee doesn't go too much over your ankle. And staying here for one breath and same, observing yourself in this pose. What emotion, what thoughts arise, and bringing a lot of kindness and acceptance for whatever arises. With your next exhale, bringing your palms back down, moving back to all fours, and doing the same on the other side. So exhaling, bringing your left foot between your two palms. Inhale, raising the arms up, checking the alignment of your spine, 
sacrum to the front of the mat. Nice straight spine, strong legs, engaging the core, opening your chest, avoiding having the shoulders close to the ears, relaxing the shoulders away from your ears, and observing how does it feel to be in your body right now. Is there anything arising? Witnessing kindness, gentleness. With your next exhale, bringing both palms down, coming back to all fours and pressing on your fingers, tucking your toes, moving on to downward facing dog, pushing and bringing your knees up, your hips up, spine straight, so keeping your, your knees bent and maybe walking your dog, bringing your heels up and down, Hugging the upper arms in and taking one breath in your downward dog. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the nose. With your next inhale, bring the right leg up and exhaling, stepping your right foot behind your palms and coming into pyramids. So here you will need your block, it's optional. Checking that your feet are both pointing to the front of the mat. Coming up, making sure that your hips are in line and facing the front of the mat, placing your hands on your waist, rolling your shoulders up and down, engaging your legs, strong legs, and maybe lifting your kneecap up to engage your quadriceps. And with an exhale, slowly bringing your trunk parallel to the ground and really pushing your right hip back and bringing your left hip front, if that makes sense and staying here. So you can stay with your hands on your waist or if you have a block, you can also place your block and support yourself here. Taking one deep breath, trying to keep your chest open and feeling the sensations, the strong stretch in your legs and accepting where you are at right now. With your next exhale, planting your fingertips on the ground and coming into a modification of warrior three. So bringing your left leg back parallel to the ground. And if you're good here, staying here, or if you want to deepen the pose, you can also bring your hands and your trunk parallel to the ground. And if you want a deeper opening of the chest, you can also interlace your hands behind your back, rolling your shoulders back and opening your chest. So whatever is good for you, Fingertips on the ground or, or your trunk and your hands up. Staying for one breath, inhale. Exhale and gently coming up again. Coming into your high lunge, opening your chest and slowly with your next exhale, planting your hands on the ground and moving back to downward facing dog and taking one deep breath here, inhaling through the nose. Exhaling through the nose and same, feeling how it feels to be in your body. What is arising right now? With your next inhale, raising the left leg back. Exhale, bringing your left foot behind your palms, coming into pyramid. So same, having your feet in one line, hips aligned to the front of the mat, bringing your hands on your waist, rolling your shoulders up and down, opening your chest. And with your next exhale, keeping your hips strongly aligned, strong legs engaged, and bringing your trunk parallel to the ground. And looking at the ground and you can stay here or if you have a block you can also help yourself supported by the block and observing whatever arises in this intense stretch taking deep breath through the nose with your next exhale planting your fingertips in front of your front foot and bringing your right leg parallel to the ground staying here if you're happy in your modified warrior three you can also help yourself with your block coming higher or if you want you can also bring your trunk parallel to the ground hands in front of your chest or in front of you or interlacing your hands behind your back and opening your chest so warrior three is quite challenging it's not perfect maybe it's a bit wobbly maybe you're feeling frustrated and whatever arises that's totally okay just welcoming and accepting as much as you can. With your next inhale, coming into high lunge and bringing your arms up, opening your chest. And with your next exhale, slowly coming down into kneeling, taking your time. And taking one breath here, inhale through the nose, observing, exhale through the nose. Moving on to camel, so having your toes tucked on the floor, Hands on your waist, rolling your shoulders up and down. 
and slowly coming backward while keeping your thigh vertical and pressing your hips forward. So opening the chest and maybe looking up, whatever feels right for your neck. And staying in camel, just here, not going deeper. And by staying in camel like this, just observing whatever arises. Maybe you want to go deeper. Maybe you feel that this is too simple for you. Maybe you struggle to breathe, so I advise you to back off a bit. So whatever is coming has thoughts, emotions, sensations, acceptance. With your next inhale, gently coming back up again. And a long exhale. Moving on to child's pose to ground ourselves, so joining your big toes together, having your knees together or apart, choosing what feels good for you. And slowly sitting your sitting bones on your heels and walking your hands to the front of the mat and resting your forehead on the ground. So we are grounding and restoring ourselves here, but if child's pose is uncomfortable for you, go ahead and choose any other position that you like. And taking two deep breaths, inhaling through the nose. Exhaling through the nose and just observing how does it feel to be in your body? Is there anything arising? And welcoming it with kindness and as much acceptance as you can. With your next inhale, slowly coming up and moving on to Shavasana, our final pose. So lying on your back and taking your time and maybe covering yourself if it's cold in the room you are in. So having your feet hip distance apart, grounding your shoulders on the yoga mat, placing your palms away from your body, tucking your chin slightly in to elongate your spine and taking a couple of gentle breaths here and just scanning your body from the tips of your toes to the crown of your head and from the crown of your head to the tips of your toes. Shavasana is a great way to process and to integrate your yoga practice. And maybe reflecting on how it feels to be in your body. Is there any emotion, any strong sensation? And whatever arises, just welcoming it without judging, without trying to change it. It is there and it is totally okay. You are perfect where you are right now. And taking two deep breaths on your own. And staying here if you want to stay longer. Otherwise, I invite you to gently open your eyes if they are closed and slowly roll onto your favorite side, taking your time. And staying for one breath, inhale through the nose. And with your exhalation, pressing your palm and helping yourself to come back up into sitting. And maybe placing your palms in front of your chest and thanking yourself for practicing for you today. I thank you for showing up and for being with me today. If you like this video, please give a thumb up, subscribe to my channel and share yoga around you. I share other yoga videos, so just check them out here and have a beautiful day. Take a great care of yourself and see you very soon. Namaste. Mm -hmm.